The problem with making large outright gifts to family is that gifts that exceed the annual gift tax exclusion amount will begin to erode your lifetime gift and estate tax exclusion. For some families, this can be a huge problem because if you begin to exceed your lifetime gift and estate tax exclusion amount, you could pay up to a hefty 40% tax. In today's video, I'll show you a powerful financial strategy that can help you transfer wealth to the next generation while minimizing taxes. I'll be discussing intra-family loans and how they can be combined with the annual gift tax exclusion amount to create a smart wealth transfer plan. Let's get started. An intra-family loan is a loan between family members such as parents and children where the lender provides funds to the borrower under agreed upon terms. So for example, mom and dad or grandma and grandpa can be the lender and the children or grandchildren can be the borrower. This type of loan comes with an important distinction. The interest rate charged should be at least the applicable federal rate or AFR for short. And this is set by the IRS to avoid potential gift tax implications. I've included a link in the description if you'd like to take a look at directly the IRS website to view the rates. Let's break it down with an example. Imagine mom and dad lending their son $100,000 at a rate equal to the applicable federal rate, which is typically significantly lower than commercial rates. Their son receives the loan and is obligated to pay it back to mom and dad according to the agreed upon terms. Now this might sound like a regular loan with simply a better interest rate, but here's where the magic happens when combined with gifting. Now let's talk about the annual gift tax exclusion. This is the amount of money you can gift to an individual each year without triggering gift tax consequences. In 2023, the annual exclusion is 17,000 per person. For example, a married couple could gift their son $34,000. This is because mom gets to gift son 17,000 and dad gets to gift son 17,000. If their son was married, they could actually double the gift amount each year. Now gifts up to this exclusion amount are not considered taxable gifts and don't eat into your lifetime gift tax exemption. But here's where the strategy gets interesting. By combining an interfamily loan with the annual gift tax exclusion, you can create a powerful wealth transfer mechanism. So let's go back to our example. Mom and dad lend $100,000 to their son as an interfamily loan. Then each year, mom and dad make a gift to their son up to the annual exclusion amount. Their son can then use this gift to pay back a big chunk of the loan each year. In this way, the money flows within the family, helping the younger generation while avoiding potential gift tax implications. Plus, parents and grandparents are able to provide financial support without directly giving away a substantial amount of money all at once. Most folks don't even know about these types of strategies when they come to see us. And depending upon your specific situation, there are a lot more strategies to consider, especially if you're someone who likes to give charitably. If you're interested in these types of strategies, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss when we post content like this. Now, knowing how this works mechanically is just one part of the puzzle because this does not account for family dynamics. Although this strategy can be incredibly cost-effective and lucrative, it has the potential to cause problems within families down the road. So here are a few quick tips. Number one, work towards fairness. If there are multiple children or grandchildren involved, Will the others and not involved feel slighted? Um, do you have good family communication? These are hallmarks to make sure this works properly. Number two, weigh the repercussions of delinquency or default. It may be a low probability and not something you wanna think about, but you must consider the consequences. And number three, create a paper trail. Get everything in writing and have formal contracts. This will help avoid problems in the future. By the way, we created a video, nine best questions to ask a financial advisor. You can watch that above. Um, these are the type of strategies that are out there. You need a good financial advisor that cares to learn about your situation. And again, these questions can help you on your journey. So there you have it. Interfamily loans combined with the annual gift tax exclusion can be a powerful way to transfer wealth from one generation to the next. It's a smart strategy that allows you to help your loved ones while minimizing tax implications. Remember, financial and tax laws can change, so it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor or tax professional before implementing any of the strategies we discussed today. 
Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. Until the next time, take care and make wise financial decisions.